I don't want to get ill. I don't want my husband Brian to look after me any more than what he does now. Um, if he gets ill, I don't know what we'd do. So we decided that we'd go for the swine flu vaccine. Um, I always think that anything that's offered uh, free of charge, we should take it. It wouldn't be offered if there was any problems. I inquired about the swine flu jab before I had it, because I did at first have concerns, but as far as I'm concerned, I don't think there is many concerns apart from protecting myself and the child. I suppose the thing I can urge to anybody else who's pregnant is, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd advise them to have it really, because, you know, it's better yeah. to be safe than, than not safe, basically. I think it's really important that people in the clinical risk groups come forward to have the jab because um, these are the people who are going to maybe, if the court, the swine flu, suffer from the complications of the swine flu, they maybe end up in hospital, but they're certainly going to end up very ill. Unfortunately, you know, yesterday on the, the radio, they were saying that 245 people have died from swine flu. Um, a simple vaccination like this um, protects patients against the, the, the problems associated with the uh, swine flu.